lysosomes or uh, the cytoplasmic cell organelles these uh, cell organelles are generally arise from either endoplasmic reticulum or from golgi complex and these lysosomes are the part of endomembrane system because uh, as like the golgi complex and endoplasmic reticulum these are the part of endomembrane system because the functions of these cell organelles are uh, in close uh, coordination with the with other cell organelles like uh, endoplasmic reticulum and golgi complex that's why it is a part of endomembrane systems and here generally it is spherical or round shaped structure but sometimes rarely like in the root hairs of cell, plant cells so it is irregular in its shape root tip cells the type of variation can be seen in the shape and here these are structures which are made up of single lipoproteinaceous membrane structures that means these are surrounded by single membrane of lipoproteins and uh, ranging from 0.2 to 0.8 uh, micrometers in their diameter so these uh, lysosomes are arising from the maturation side of uh, golgi complex and uh, these lysosomes were first actually discovered by christian d duve scientist christian d duve scientist and uh, these are uh, uh, their number will be ranging or actually the number will depends upon the the metabolism or the functional activities of this particular cell generally the one which are metabolically active those cells contain highest number of uh, uh, lysosomes in them particularly like the cell which is undergoing uh, division or the meristematic cells which are repeatedly undergoing division so repeated mitotic division or uh, uh, is a is a type of uh, highly metabolic active mechanism that's why in such type of cell the number of lysosomes will be very high then these lysosomes are uh, very specific in their nature because uh, they are having uh, various types of enzymes uh, present in them nearly 50 types of enzymes are present but it is not compulsory that all uh, 50 types should be present in each and every lysosome but the overall if you uh, see the number of enzymes the 50 types of enzymes are present in the lysosomes let's take some of the enzymes which are present in the lysosomes phosphatases nucleases carbohydrases lipases sulfatases such type many such type of uh, enzymes are present inside the lysosomes which are concerned with various metabolic activities like nucleases are there so they, these nucleases will act on the nucleic acids like dna so and carbohydrases which are acting on the carbohydrates lipases which will act on the lipids and proteases which will act on the proteins likewise uh, various types of enzymes are present in the inside the lysosome which is uh, concerned with various types of metabolic activities so lysosomes are the structures which contain a thin membrane structure and uh, it will not release the enzymes which are present in it to the into the cytoplasmic content but whichever the structure have to be digested that uh, structure will enter into the lysosome there the hydrolytic enzymes which are present inside the lysosomes will act on them and digest that particular material and whatever the undigested material which is left out which will be released outside by exocytosis method the enzymes uh, which are present in the lysosomes are active in the acidic condition so here acidic conditions are maintained inside the lysosomes by accumulation or uh, influx of the h plus ions into the lysosome so that the acidic conditions are main maintained inside the lysosome so here uh, as we said that lysosomes are formed by the cumulative effect of uh, both the endoplasmic reticulum and the golgi complex and here the precursors of hydrolytic enzymes the precursors of hydrolytic enzymes are formed in the endoplasmic reticulum where they are organized into a spherical structure with a with the formation of a membrane so that they are converted into the lysosomal structures so here lysosomes are uh, the hydrolytic enzymes are very active 
the activity of the lyso uh, hydrolytic enzymes are res restricted by formation of a membrane around them so that the other cellular contents or cytoplasmic contents which are present are protected from the hydrolytic enzymes but when any cytoplasmic content have to be digested so those structures will enter into lysosomes and there inside the lysosome they are acted upon by the hydrolytic enzymes but but at sometimes what happens is um, the membrane present around the lysosome will get burst or get uh, delicated so that um, the hydrolytic enzymes are released into cytoplasmic content once the hydrolytic enzymes are released into the cyt cytoplasmic content so all the cellular contents have got digested that leads to the death of the cell also so in, uh, in order to protect from such uh, unfortunate condition the hydrolytic enzymes are restricted by formation of a membrane around them to form into a lysosome so here lysosomes are generally polymorphic uh, cell organelles so polymorphic means uh, the structure which exists in uh, more than or many morphological organizations or morphological structure based on the morphology and, and function actually three types are there but ad additional to the third type the fourth type is also there let's discuss the uh, three types here first so first one is called as primary lysosomes so these are the lysosomes which are formed from the endoplasmic reticulum or the golgi complex by uh, forming a membranous structure generally these are spherical shaped structures which are having single lipoproteinaceous membrane along with the hydrolytic enzymes inside them so these are formed towards the golgi vacuolar maturation side or we can say that some of the golgi vacuoles are converted into lysosomes those lysosomes are called as a primary lysosomes so here the hydrolytic enzymes which are present inside the primary lysosomes are very active as and when any uh, food material or any foreign particle enters into the hydro uh, enters into lysosome there the activity of the hydrolytic enzymes will start so then they are converted into second structure called as a secondary lysosomes so these second lysosomes are also spherical shaped structures which are having lipoproteinaceous membrane along with the hydrolytic enzymes as we have seen in the primary lysosomes so it contains hydrolytic enzymes along with the food particles or the food materials or any the foreign particle or any substance that have to be digested will enters into the lysosomes now that structure is called as a secondary lysosomes now the digestion of that particular material will start inside the secondary lysosome or the activity of the hydrolytic enzymes will start in the secondary lysosome where the food particle will gradually start digested then after digestion so after digestion now the digester material will be released outside that will be used for the new uh, cell components or the new cells then the remnant which is present is co is converted into a structure called as tertiary lysosomes this is also nearly spherical in structure which contains lipoproteinaceous membrane and uh, they also contains the hydrolytic enzymes but along with that one they contain undigested material after digestion when the digestion is taking place in the second lysosome the and the digested material is uh, uh, coming out and the undigested material will remain inside that uh, lysosome now that lysosome we call it as a tertiary lysosome or this is a one which is otherwise called as residual body also residual body and here how does this undigested material have to be released outside means this tertiary lysosome gradually move towards the cytoplasm uh, cytoplasmic membrane or the plasma membrane and it will uh, dump this material outside by a process called as exocytosis so let's take uh, the diagram of uh, endoplasmic reticulum this is a rough endoplasmic reticulum part 
and uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum from the endoplasmic reticulum we can see the formation of uh, the golgi apparatus structures and the golgi apparatus which contains the um, branch structures and also the unbranched structures that is tubules and also the vesicles so along with that one we can also see the formation of uh, the vesicles and also some of the spherical shaped structures which are separated out so these structures are acting some of them are acting as a uh, lysosomes then these lysosomes which are spherical in their structure which contains hydrolytic enzymes now we call them as a primary lysosomes so if any food particle or if any foreign particle so this will enter into the primary lysosome then it will be converted into secondary lysosome which contains the food particle now we call this as secondary lysosome and this second inside the second lysosome as we had discussed so the digestion of the food particle will start that is a activity of the hydrolytic enzymes will start on the start inside this one and uh, the materials digestive materials will be released outside whereas the undigested structure which is acting as a tertiary lysosome which contains the undigested materials will be moving towards the uh, plasma membrane where consider this as a plasma membrane so here it will be coming towards the plasma membrane where it will be dumping out all these materials outside to the cell this process is called as exocytosis so this is one process where the uh, different structures are uh, of the primal lysosome are coming here and uh, one more method is there how does the foreign particles will enter into the cell so it it occurs either by pinocytosis or phagocytosis pinocytosis means uh, any liquid material or we can call it as a cell drinking any liquid particle is entering into the cell consider any liquid material is coming into the cell pinocytosis or we are showing any solid particle which is coming into the cell so we call this as a phagocytosis and when the because of pinocytosis a vacuum like structure will be formed so we call this as a pinosome and uh, this solid material containing one is called as phagosome then the pinosome or the phagosome so it will be converted into the lysosomal structure where the activity of this uh, hydrolytic enzymes will be acting on it and once again from here the digestive material will be released outside and the undigested material that is what we call it as a tertiary lysosome will be formed so here this tertiary lysosome will be released releasing the undigested materials towards the outside by exocytosis likewise the lysosomes are not only concerned with the digestion of food particles but also concerned with the digestion of various liquid contents which are entering into the cell and also the uh, solid materials which are entering into the cell that is simply to say they are concerned with digestion of various types of materials either it may be a food or any foreign particle or any harmful substance or any liquid content or a solid material which is entering into a cell is digested by the hydrolytic enzymes and those uh, the digestion is taking place inside that uh, uh, lysosome so this is a intracellular digestion which is which we call it as so likewise the uh, three types of uh, lysosomes are formed in the due course of the changes which are taking place uh, from primary to secondary secondary to the tertiary secondary lysosomes are otherwise called as heterophagosomes because uh, they contain different types of uh, materials which are coming into that one so we call such uh, uh, secondary lysosomes as a heterophagosomes then 
others are also there those are called as uh, autophagic vacuoles or we can also call as autophagosomes so what is this uh, uh, autophagic vacuole or autophagosomes means actually as i said that whenever a particle or any substance have to be digested it will enter into the uh, lysosome but actually uh, but sometimes what happens the hydrolytic enzymes which are present inside the cell will be uh, releasing outside into the cytoplasmic content which will uh, kill or which will digest the uh, injured cells or the cells which had become aged so such type of cells had to be digested so that is uh, done by releasing the hydrolytic enzymes into that injured or the aged cells so that is what the digestion is taking place outside that uh, uh, lysosome so this type of uh, vacuoles are called as a autophagic vacuoles or the autophagosomes and in this process the injured cells are completely digested that is killing of the cell is taking place so this is one condition and uh, other one is when the cell is in starvation starvation means whenever the cell is not getting the required amount of food material what happens it start eating the cellular contents or cytoplasmic contents so the eating of the cytoplasmic contents will lead to the uh, destruction of the functions of the cell gradually leading to killing of the cell in which the lysosome is present so that is the reason why these uh, lysosomes are called as suicidal bags which lead to death of the cell by itself so that is one other uh, character related to the autophagic vacuoles so that is the reason why uh, it is also considered as one form of structure uh, for, uh, exhibited by the lysosomes uh, apart from the primary secondary and the tertiary lysosomes so what are the functions concerned with uh, lysosomes so these are concerned with intracellular digestion that is digestion of uh, various materials inside the cell and uh, extracellular digestion that is digestion of the some other particles outside the cell apart from that one they are concerned with the digestion of proteins lipids uh, nucleases uh, which are concerned with the digestion of uh, nucleic acids peptidases proteases like sulfatases phosphatases so all these are the enzymes which are concerned with the digestion of the respective chemical substance all these are present inside the lysosomes so those are the part of hydrolytic enzymes